it's Saturday evening. You and your friends decide to play a new board game. You fill the table with snacks and drinks, distribute the pawns, and start playing. You roll the dice and get a 5 and 3. Your pawn moves 8 spaces on the flat squares, waiting to buy a city. As it always goes, you look up what seems like a moment later, and it's already dark outside. You call it a night, and you're off to bed. Next morning, you wake up to… something bizarre. All you can see is lines. There's no height, no up or down. You try to move your head. You can't see feet below you or a ceiling above you. Your view is limited to left and right. You try to jump. Hmm, no luck. You can move, but only forward, backward, left, and right. You check out your room. There are no windows, just a line blocking you from going anywhere. The wall. You head to the left and right. You finally find the door, a brown line you can push open. If you could float up and look down at your new world, you'd see it. It's as if a thin pane of glass fell on top of the world and flattened everything, like that game you were playing. You're a flat pawn and can't lift yourself from the board or climb on top of objects. You can only go around them. Your entire world is in 2D. How can you go to work? What happened the night before? You need to find answers fast. In your house, the kitchen is missing. You quickly slide to the right, and there's no bathroom either. Where did everything go? How can you eat and shower? In a 2D world, tubes don't exist, which means you no longer have a digestive tract, stomach, veins, a sink, or even a bathtub. Now you're just a flat shape. Suddenly, you hear your dog barking. He's in the other room, but it's hard to see him. Yesterday, he ran up to you with his tennis ball to play. Now, you can only see him getting brighter the closer he gets. He looks like a yellow line with some discoloration around the edges. You gotta get out of here and find out what's going on. You move to your house's front door. Where the knob used to be, you see a golden line among the door surrounding it. You press it. The door opens, and you slide outside. That's when you see it. A brand new, mysterious world you must now figure out. In the 2D world, light and perception work differently. Only things close to you shine, so that's how you understand distance. There are no regular cars anymore, just individual hollow squares with sliding doors that allow you to enter. Even though it's not tiring to move across a flat surface when you're flat too, these cars help push you to your destination faster. You work at a newspaper agency, the perfect place to find out what happened to the world. Tall buildings no longer exist. Everything stretches along the surface instead. The four-story college building is stretched so much, it takes you six minutes to drive past it. Just as you go to slide past the bank, you realize there's no stoplights. How will your car stop and go without any direction? You see a long sliding line coming from the left to the right. That's how traffic is controlled in the 2D world. A minute passes and the obstacle slides by, allowing your car to move again. You finally get to the office, and you're met with chaos. Lines are approaching you from every direction. The closer they get, the brighter and bigger they seem. You hear objects moving, but can't understand what they are. Suddenly, you hear a voice. Hey, you're late! It's your boss. But how could he tell who you are? Yet you can only see edges, brightness, and colors. Does he know what's really going on? You don't know which line he is with all the shapes around. You call out his name instead. A line gets longer and brighter in front of you. Is it him? You ask if he knows what's going on. Nah, but don't worry about it. But how did you know it was me? I knew everyone else's shape, and you were the only one that was late today. That's when you realize there's a way to identify people by circling around them. In the 3D world, you see people's faces and body shapes. Your two eyes focus to understand depth and distance. Now, your single eye scans a longer line filled with edges and colors. The brighter parts stick out towards you. The darker parts must bend inward. Instead of saying, I don't recognize your face, now you'll say, I don't recognize your edge. You circle your boss to observe him. He has strange edges. Three parts in his shape are brighter. They must be pointing towards you. 
You ask what your shape is like. He says you're round because the middle of you is brighter all the way around you. You ask if you can cover the story on what's going on today as a chance to figure things out. He sends you to your office to finish yesterday's story first before moving on to today. Your office is empty, but spacious. Furniture has become futile since you don't need to sit up off the floor or set things on tables. You can't imagine finishing the article with no computer or keyboard. You stand in the middle of the room, bewildered. People outside are whispering about the missing third dimension. But when you head outside to ask, they change the subject. Maybe it has to do with the game you played last night. It was flat, and so are you. Eh, forget that irrelevant article from yesterday. You must find your friend who bought the game for you and ask him. You slide out the back door and get into your car. You travel to your friend's house. It was easy to find because in the 3D world, it had a blue wall and a red door. In the 2D world, you can only see a blue line interrupted by a red one in the middle. As you step outside the car, you notice a large brownish shape blocking your way. Bright spots tell you it has pokey ends and some of them attach to you as you rub against the mysterious object. It's a tree. You want to observe all the new weird shapes around, but there's no time. You head to the entrance of your friend's house and forcefully push against the closed door. You shout, hey, it's me, are you okay? What's going on? Your buddy opens the door. He has a brighter edge in front and a slight curve at the back. He doesn't know what happened or why everyone else seems so calm. You suggest going back to your place to check the game. He gets in his car and follows you home. You slide into your living room. Where your bathroom used to be, you notice parts of the wall are brighter. It's as if it's filled with spikes. You go closer to inspect it. You rub your edges against the spikes and green lines stick to it. It must be leaves from the tree you ran into earlier. That's how people get clean in the 2D world. You and your friend forage the house for that board game. You search every room, but line after line in your field of vision tells you nothing. That's when it hits you. Board games are meant to be played on a table. You look down at them and stretch out your arms, pick up your pawn and the dice. In this 2D world, there can't be board games. You're at a loss for words. You and your friends start spouting out theories of what could have happened and how to fix it. Maybe your idea about a huge pane of glass randomly falling and squishing everything on Earth is correct. You've exhausted yourself. You slide over to the wall. You just need to shut your eye for a few minutes and think. You fall asleep. You wake up 12 hours later and can't believe what you see. Your friend is his regular human figure. He's lying on the floor. Your bed is unmade in your room like you left it two days ago and your dog runs to you to play with his tennis ball. You may never know what happened or why, but the third dimension is back. But in another universe, four-dimensional beings are being transported to and totally confused by a 3D world. <laughs> I'll save that story for another video. Ha 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 ha!